Hello everyone, I'm Jay. We're here at Pangyo Techno Valley, this time for a really cool interview with Samuel Park, the CTO and co-founder of Curin. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. I say, I say this is cool because your technology, I read about it a little earlier, it seems so fascinating and unique, like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. <laughs> it, it sounds incredible. Can you please introduce yourself and your company uh, to our viewers? Okay, uh, my name is Samuel Park and I'm a co-founder and CTO of CureIn. Our company is founded in 2020 with the motto of confidence to the clinicians and the peace for the patients. Okay. Yeah, so we started this uh, project, you know, MRI guided automatic breast biopsy robot systems. Yeah, so this one is we uh, made this robot can work inside the MRI gantry, which has the great magnetic field and RF uh, radio frequency powers, so energy. So, so we, our robot can work there and then we, pro, uh, we provide the uh, uh, ability to get the uh, biopsy sample for the breast cancer patients. Okay, so got, I, I, think I, I think I understand. I, I'm not an expert in this field, so we're gonna take a little bit of a step back and kind of highlight some areas there. Okay. So first of all, the system is an MRI guided, so using MR, MRI machine yes. to guide the process, right? Okay. And specifically breast biopsy. Yes. Okay, and I think what makes your product unique is you're saying that your system, your robot, can enter into the gantry. So the gantry is the what part of the machine? Okay, the, uh, there is MRI machine uh -huh. and uh, there are like hole uh, looks like tube yes and then patients goes in yes. to get the image yes right so it's very small bore very small hole okay and the patients are already in there and in there because this image system is working there are very strong magnetic field and mm -hmm. then uh, radio frequency you know uh, waves are there right and so so uh, the ordinary machines cannot enter ah so up up until now First of all, doctors up until now usually had to perform this procedure, right? Yes. So yours not only is automated, but has the unique aspect that it can fit inside the gantry. Yes. Is, is this normal? Are you the first with this kind of technology? What makes your technology unique? We, we, think, this ours, we think ours is the first one which can enter in the gantry. Okay. But mostly, you know, there are the machines and robots that can work, you know, the in front of the gantry. Okay. Yeah, there are machines okay. already. Okay. But uh, ours can enter inside the gantry uh -huh. because the breast breast is uh -huh. the in the middle of the body. Of course. Oh. So the when you work for the brain or prostate, mm -hmm. because prostate and brain is at the end of the side. Mm -hmm. So that's why the the machine can robot can uh, work from the outside of the gantry. Ah, I see. I say in but, front or in back. Yes. Of, okay. But uh, ours, you know, we targeted breast, okay. the breast is in the middle. Right. So this part will be the almost the center of the machine. It's like exactly where the gantry yes. is. I completely so understand. So to, okay. to perform the procedure for the breast, the machine should be able to go into the gantry. And as far as you know, yours is the first one that yes. can enter, in, that can be used inside the gantry. Yes. And it's also automated, correct? Yes. As far as I understand. Yes. Now this is a big issue for several reasons. So. I'm American and I know that a lot of MRI technology is used in America. It's a huge market for MRI technology and that breast cancer is also the leading cancer type for women, correct? Yes. So you're addressing uh, these, these two areas with having cancer being the leading type of cancer for women and an automated sy system. Oh, and the third area of, co of course being uh, that can operate inside the gantry itself. W what, is the, what are the advantages to having an automated system compared to having a manual doctor performing the yeah. procedure? Uh, for the doctor to perform this procedure, the biopsy procedure, doctor enter into the gantry room, mm -hmm. uh, MRI room, and then because the, the patient is inside the gantry, so the patient should, must come out of the gantry. Right, right. And then do some procedure. And then because manual procedure, they need to check yes. whether this procedure is correct or not. Okay. So they uh, send the patient in the gantry again, mm -hmm. and then take MRI again. Okay. Like this, they repeat uh, like this a procedure. a back and forth process. Back and forth procedures. So that's why it takes very long time. I so most advanced experts can perform uh, like about 45 minutes. Okay. And average uh, procedure time is about one hour. Okay. So for one hour, these lady patients, mostly old, mm -hmm. they must stay in the gantry 
on the uh, couch. Right. Almost like one hour or 90 minutes, mm -hmm. they must not move at all. Uh -huh. Right. So it's uncomfortable. Very it's, uncomfortable. It's, especially in our day and time, it's inefficient. How does your procedure, your system, how, how does it deal with this? Is it, is it so, twice as fast? What's the time? So our, our system, we, when we check in our in situ uh, simulation, mm -hmm. we take like a 32 minutes or okay. up to 35 minutes. So, so even though, you know, Novice uh, clinicians, they try, I think we can finish at most 40 minutes. Okay. So only 30 minutes means, you know, one hour to 35 minutes is almost half. Right. Twice fast, almost twice fast. Right. So, so, so our system, uh, the doctor uh, pick the target point, then our machine, our robots can enter to the gantry. So the patient, you know, may not come out of the gantry. So it doesn't so have to do the whole back to, and forth yeah, routine. Doesn't have to back and forth proceed. So it's more comfortable. It's more efficient. It's, yes. it's safer. Uh, is it more accurate? Accuracy is higher because the manual procedure and our automatic procedure is mm -hmm. because the robotic procedure is much more you know, accurate much than the human hand. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Better precision. Human hands. Yeah, but safety is, I think, same. Okay. Yeah. And now you said you're going through testing trials. So this is a brand new product, yes. right? So your research as a company, you were founded later, but your research for this started all the way back in 2011. Yes. When did you guys, when did Incure become a company? Uh, the, the, our, our research started from the lab of National Cancer Center, okay. 2011. Okay. And I joined in 2012. Okay. And then when we uh, almost uh, finished our research development in 2020, we started spin-off. We, we decided to spin-off. Okay. So, so our company started in 2020. So, so that's the that's Because this, this research, we took great money, great amount of uh, you know, research sure, funds sure, from of, the government. Of course. And then, especially this MRI takes a long uh, journey to stack up the know-how. Because you know the other area, other research area, you know, we you you can put a lot of capitals and a lot of people, and you know you can make quick. Mm -hmm. But this this MRI part is very difficult. You need to repeat test, repeat test. But you know MRI machine is very rare. It's very hard to you know buy. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Of so, course. Yeah. It takes so, very long time to stack up the no stack up you know know how and uh, you know resolving the problems and then that's why that's why you know when we decide to and uh, when the research uh when the when, the, when you decide to start the research becoming a company and moving through the process this is why you spun off and this is why you're starting to develop this yes, technology yes, yeah. my, my next question is who's your target market you mentioned that MRI machines are very expensive. Yes. They're not in every single hospital, especially not in usually smaller clinics. So who's your target market for this? Uh, at first, we, target, we targeted the, the, the bigger, bigger cancer hospitals, mm -hmm. you know, the, which already doing these mm -hmm. manual biopsy procedures. Okay. Uh, but because this manual biopsy procedure requires the expertise. So only the, like, you know, complex cancer center size, you know, are very great size cancer center can do it now. Right. But when our system is in the market, mm -hmm. you know, our first target will be the, those uh, university hospitals, okay. and, you know, they can do it. Sure. But later, you know, our, our system can enter to the regional cancer centers oh. because, you know, we, our system doesn't require the expertise. Right. So, so the patients will be able to get biopsy from their nearest hospitals. So, so before, if I understand correctly, of course, you're going to start with the bigger hospitals and you're, you're going through clinical trials to get this proven. But yes. the, the ultimate goal is to get this to a smaller or regional hospital that has a machine, but not the experts who are there to perform the biopsy. Yes. So this is going to cut off. So if, if I was a woman and I was diagnosed uh, with breast cancer, instead of having to move to another facility, I could stay in the same facility and yes. get the treatment, correct? That's right. Oh, I mean, this, this could be revolutionary. For, <laughs> it, it could, right? For yeah. the breast cancer. Yes. Um, I don't want to say market because that's, that's not the right word to use. Uh, for people dealing with breast cancer, this could become revolutionary, you know, making the whole procedure more comfortable. Are you only, you, you plan to go abroad. Um, is your target market first starting out domestically, 
Do you plan to go abroad as well? And if you plan to go abroad, what markets are you planning to enter? Uh, at first, we need to uh, get some you know, clinical data. Sure. So, so we will launch our uh, system in Korea first. Okay. But uh, when we start the clinical trial in Korea, we will try FDA clearance simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, our initial target, our major target will be the U.S. Because the United States has a great number of breast cancer patients ah. and great number of MRI and great number of regional cancer centers. I see. So your first target market after domestically, after it being proven domestically, is the United States. Do you plan to enter Europe and other parts of Asia after that? Uh, our second target will be the Germany and okay. EU because the, the breast cancer and MRI is the very common there also. So, so yeah, that's the second market. Got it. S Samuel, you mentioned that you started researching, you started this, the whole process researching within 2000, from 2011, moving to a company in 2020. You mentioned the amount of funds it took to get this started, obviously being a, a medical device, an automated robot. How did you get your company started? Was it through personal investment? Was it through government funding? How did you go about uh, launching this? At first this? was the, the the government funding. Okay. So, so how, how, how do you call in English, you know, the okay. Yebi Chang'e package? Yeah, yeah. 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 Chang'e Jinung Yeah. 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 We got uh, 87 million won. Nice. Yeah. So Congratulations. I think it was the big money. Okay. <laughs> and also we had uh, some other, other research grant also. And also we put our personal investment too. So yeah. we are looking for the, some, you know, the outer funding source now. P yeah. personal investment to a, a medical device. I think that really shows how much you really believe in this device. Yes, yes. Because I, I know it, it doesn't, it's not small <laughs> money going into medical devices. Yeah. We're here at Pangyo Techno Valley. Uh, I, I believe you started, at, you said at the National Cancer Centers where you started, yes. but your company has now moved to here, yes. right? What's the advantage of working in this area? Yeah, the reason why we started, you know, uh, research as our company there was because we belong to there first and then they provide us the facilities and research, uh, research facilities and mm -hmm. equipment. Also, we, can, we could use the MRI machine there. So that's why we were there. And then now to get the outside fund and also to attract the more young people, young, you know, young of uh, intelligent people. And I think Pangyo is the best place. Wonderful. I mean, I love the area. Many people have compared it to the Silicon Valley of Korea. Yeah. You mentioned earlier you yourself lived in the States. Do you see the potential of this area to become a global worldwide kind of startup hub? Why not? Yeah, yeah I, why I, not? I totally see yeah. it. I come here almost every week and I really see the vision here. Yeah. And there's so much, so many great things coming out of Korea right now with the expertise here. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add to our interview today? I think this is great time, mm -hmm. and then the Pangyo is the great place. And when I come here, you know, I, I feel like I become younger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of young people, a lot of intelligent people, and then a lot of investors and accelerators. You know, are really you know enjoying this. Place. You feel younger when you come here. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like whenever I I don't live in this area, and whenever I come here, I feel like I become smarter. <laughs> you're you're the you're the smart. You're obviously the smart one here between us two of the, the doing our interview. You become younger, which is wonderful. There's so much energy in this area. All right, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna recap this one more time. Oh, do you have a name for your product yet? Are you guys kind of working on it? Yeah, we we put our name is M R Son. Okay. Son is the Korean name, you know, hands. Hands, sure. Yeah, so 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 our hands get into the MRI. So ah. that's why we our, our we put our name in the M R Son. Yeah. Are, are you working on getting that registered right now? Uh, yeah, we will. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say the the whole. Let me let me go. MRI guided breast biopsy automated robot system, right? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a little long, <laughs> but that's the product. MR Sone is what you're going to try and go with, yes, right? Yes, yes. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm sure you're a very busy man, and I hope your product does well and helps many patients out there. Yes, Thank you again great. so much. Thank you, Jay. That, I'm Jay, once again with an interview here at Pangyo Techno Valley.